Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I just thought that it would be fun to do a little what's on my iPhone video. You guys have been requesting this so much ever since I got my new phone. I did one of these a while back, like right when I started my channel during the fall. So I just thought that it would be fun to do a little updated version since I did just get a new phone. So without further ado, let's get started with what is on my iPhone. So this is the phone that I have. I just have the iPhone 8 Plus and it's in the rose gold color. You can't really tell. The sides are rose gold and the back is kind of like a whitish gold color. And this is just the case that I have on my phone right now. It's this case that just says mags on it. Um, and it has this gold like sparkly stuff inside. And if you like shake it up, it just like moves around and if you guys didn't know mags is like a nickname for maggie and that's what my dad calls me like tyler calls me and so i don't know i just thought that it was kind of cute to get this instead of like maggie on the back of my case but anyway this is my iphone and i think i'm gonna do like that screen monitoring thing where you can like record what your screen looks like so I can put it in the video right here and then show you guys what is exactly on my iPhone and kind of like go through it with you so I'm gonna start that right now when you look at the home screen of my phone it's just this photo as you guys see right now of me and Kaylee when we were in Miami and I thought that was really cute just because it's like a cute fun plain background to have and it looks really clean and fresh on your phone so that's why I have it on it and it's one of my favorite pictures right now and then you open it up to my home screen which is just this light blue background and these are the way that my apps are set up I just have them all color coordinated because <laughs> I have really bad OCD so I don't know I just thought that it looks so much more fresh and clean when everything is all organized and by color so it's pretty self-explanatory what I have on my homepage, just basically all of the apps that come on your iPhone, like music, photos, calendar, iBooks, find my friends, reminders, notes, you guys get the gist, you can see what I have on my home screen. But I really like the Find My Friends app, it's my absolute favorite, because I have a lot of my close friends, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, but I really like tracking my friends. And so that's one of my favorite apps. And then if you swipe over to the next page, I just have all of my apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. So at the top, I just have my BSU mobile app, which is the app for my school. I go to Bridgewater State University in Massachusetts. So I just have my school app where I can check my grades, class schedule, like any cancellations, check my email, stuff like that. And then I have Poshmark. And Poshmark is my absolute favorite app for buying, well I don't really buy on it, but it's my favorite app for selling my clothes. And if you guys want to check out my Poshmark, I'll have a link to my Poshmark down below. And you can also use the code PQYNA for a $5 credit towards any purchase. And I'm always posting new things on Poshmark just to try to clean up my closet and like keep things in rotation. So I absolutely love that app. Then I have the Daily Horoscope app, which is my favorite. I'm always reading my horoscope. And then I have just Pinterest and I have a period tracker as well just to track like when I'm going to get my period and stuff like that. I've been using that a lot lately. It's super fun. You can like put in all of your different cravings and like your moods and stuff like that. It's been one of my favorites. And then I just have Instagram. I'm obsessed with Instagram. You guys should totally follow me if you aren't already. It's just at Maggie McDonald. And this is what my Instagram feed looks like. Instagram is one of my favorite apps in the whole world. I really like using it as like a personal platform and just like showing you guys a different side of my life and like taking pictures and posting what I'm doing and updating with my stories, everything like that. It's my absolute favorite right now. And then obviously I have YouTube, of course, and the YouTube Studio app. Then I have Snapchat. If you guys aren't following me on Snapchat as well, you guys totally should. It's just at Maggie McDonald. And then I have the Soul Cycle app where you can go in and just book all of your classes and like find a class near me. Usually I go to the Dedham Studio, so it has all of the different instructors and different times and classes that I can take, which I love. Then I have the Starbucks app, which just has like my credit card on it. If I go to Starbucks, I'll use my phone and go in and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it signed me out. Never mind. But I can just basically scan my phone and it'll pay for whatever drink I get. And then I have my TD Bank app, which is just my bank, Spotify. I love making new playlists on Spotify. It's my favorite music app. So I just have like all the music that I listen to, my spring playlist, my chill playlist, Drake, More Life, 
all my favorite artists and all my favorite music are on my Spotify. Then I have the Outlook email app, which is just for my school email. Venmo, you guys know to like send your friends money if they pay for something. Then my favorite app of all time, which is Dote, and it's my obsession. It's so dangerous because it literally is the mobile mall. You put all of your information in and then you can go on and scroll through and look at all of the different stores. Like if I wanted to buy something from Princess Polly, I could go on, look through, add it to my card. If I wanted to buy something from Sephora, go through, same thing, add it to my cart, and then you literally buy everything all at once and it gets shipped to you and you don't have to update your card information or your address or anything, it's all saved. So it's literally like whatever you want at one click. It's so dangerous, I'm so obsessed with it. And if you guys also wanna sign up for Dote, you guys can use my code Maggie for a $5 credit to any store, which is literally like a gift card to Sephora, Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, literally any store in Dote, my absolute favorite. I love it, you guys need it. Then I have Twitter, which I don't really use, but I'm starting to use more. But my Twitter is just at Maggie MacD underscore. And I don't really use Twitter that much, but I'm starting to use it more. So you guys should follow me on Twitter. And then I also have PayPal to like send money to my account through like different things that I get paid for on PayPal. And if I need to buy something and I don't feel like putting my credit card in, it's just easier to use my PayPal account. So I have PayPal. And then I have my AT&T app, which is just how I pay my cell phone bill. All of that fun stuff. Uber, pretty self-explanatory. If I'm ever in a city, need a ride, call an Uber, hop in, you know the gist. Then my two favorite editing apps of all time, Afterlight and Visco. So Afterlight is my favorite editing app. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see like a how I edit my Instagram picture video if you'd be interested in that i would totally love to do one of those videos i love editing my instagram and like coming up with new themes to have stuff like that i'm really 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 like obsessed with instagram aesthetic so if you guys want to see a video like that just give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comments below and then obviously visco my favorite app to edit pictures on this is just what my visco looks like it has all my photos that i've edited and then my visco profile if you guys want to follow me on there it's just at maggie dash mcdonald's i post a bunch of pictures like from my snapchat pictures that i don't post on my instagram personal pictures stuff like that if you guys want to check it out you can follow me on there as well and then on the next page i just have a bunch of apps that i don't really use that much so i have like a travel folder with like a jet blue app airbnb the mbta like ticket Thing for the commuter rail which goes from my school to Boston I have open table park Boston which is just a parking app that I can use when I go to Boston I just have like my card information in my car all programmed into there so like when I get my eyelashes done, I just pull up out front I can pay my meter right on my phone which is really helpful and then I have uber eats I'm obsessed with uber eats I love it so much but I can only use that when I'm in Boston or Miami I use it so much in Miami but we don't have it here in Bridgewater where I live which is really sad. Uber Eats, if you're watching this, you need to come to Bridgewater because I'm obsessed. And then also Hotel Tonight, which is just this really cool app where you could go on and you can look through all of the different hotels that they have in whatever city is near you. And then it comes up and you can literally book your hotel room like right then and there. And it gives you like a really cheap rate. So like Hotel Commonwealth, my favorite hotel of all time. You can click on it and you can book a hotel room for 216 for one night instead of it being 509. So that's really helpful. Then I have another category folder thing called work and it just has a bunch of different like work things on it like files, Google Drive, Google Docs, Dropbox, all those. And then I also have my last folder which is just lifestyle and in this I just have a bunch of different apps that I don't really use on a day to day basis. So I have like my Amazon app. Urban Outfitters app, Kira Kira, which is this really cool app that you can add a photo and then put like a sparkly effect on it. I used to use it a long time ago, but I don't really use it that much anymore. So that's why I kind of have it like on the back burner. Last page of my phone, because I don't really use it. And then I have Cut Story, which I use sometimes when I post like a longer Instagram story on my Instagram. Like if I have a one minute video and I want to cut it up into all the 15, diff 15 second like segments, I just upload it to Cut Story and then it does it all for me. 
And then I have the unfollowing app, which I don't use anymore. I should probably delete it. So it just told you like who unfollows your Instagram and stuff. So like you can follow, unfollow them back if they unfollow you, which I really don't care anymore. So I should probably delete that. I don't use it. And then I also have the dry bar app, which is super helpful. Just if I want to book a blowout, it's super easy to just go on my phone, schedule my appointment and pay for it all in one. So I love that app. And yeah, basically that is what is on my iPhone. So that concludes what is on my iPhone. I know a ton of you guys have been requesting to see that video, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.